It's not happened before, at least in living memory, a British Prime Minister refusing to meet a Greek one and on the subject of a national cause, the reunification of the Parthenon marbles being held in the British Museum with those remaining in Athens. When it was clear that the purpose of a meeting was not to discuss substantive issues for the future, but rather to grandstand and relitigate issues of the past, it wasn't appropriate. In the shadow of the Acropolis Museum, built 14 years ago specifically to house the reunited collection, Greeks were incensed. It was unheard of behaviour from a British Prime Minister to a colleague from the European Union. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis made light of it, saying the snub had backfired, giving the Parthenon marbles more global publicity. But there were other topics the two leaders didn't get to discuss as a result, like migration. I think this was quite unexpected and surprised us unpleasantly and caused a negative impression here. I think Sunak and the Tories face a popularity problem a few months before general elections and he wanted to make an impression. Greece has been asking for its marbles back in earnest for at least four decades and the vast majority of Greek society supports that cause. This government has been pushing hard for a deal that would lend the British Museum other treasures in return for the marble's permanent repatriation. Lord Elgin's removal of the sculptures was controversial from the moment it happened more than two centuries ago, and no one here expects a quick solution. But the Greeks did at least expect the courtesy of being heard. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.